This is just a quick video about um, making up these little ROM converters. Convert from the um, 2332 and 2364 ROMs in the VIC to um, 2700 series. So um, normally this is how I make them up. So I've got the, actually this is upside down, I shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't have put the pins like that. But anyway, so that goes into the socket on the, on the VIC. And then I've got a socket here for the 2700 series. But the problem is in the VIC with the pet style keys, you see it just is not. There's my Jiffy Dawson original kernel, and it just because of the, how the keyboard is, just can't close it. So, um, I'm not going to be, <laughs> I'll just have the normal kernel, PAL kernel, um, and Jiffy DOS. So, once I've programmed the ROM, um, you know, I'm not going to take it out and reprogram it. So, I'm going to make up a new one. I've already started on this one, and I'm just going to have the ROM straight on there. So, that should give me a few extra mil clearance so that I can close this so let's go so I've already started on this one um, you can see there I've, um, I've bridged R2 and R3 and I've got a 10k uh, resistor over R1 um, which works out like that so this will be replacing a 2364 I with a 27128 so I can get two 8k images so yeah, we just want to be able to switch A13 which I do via a switch I put on via a header so anyway, so I've started that off so I will set up the camera and I'll show you the best way I found of doing it and you see there Sukkopera well, I thought it was Finnish. <laughs> it looks Finnish. Well, I'm pronouncing it Finnish. But um, actually Italian, I think. Okay. Okay. So, because it's offset, the easiest way I've found of doing it, I just get, is by doing the bottom pins on one side. Yeah, make sure we've got the little ledge at the bottom. Squeeze that in. And then I'll just come out. Of course it will come out. Get some pins for the other side. Which is there. Might as well make, break those off. I've now thrown away. <laughs> I use this to hold them straight. And there. Oops. Well prepared, well scripted video as usual. Okay. Oh, I can keep them straight. So I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to do this row first, move the light, do this row first because that will be covered by the ROM when I solder that in. So, let to chop these off so they're not sticking them to the ROM. Give me an extra few millimetres of clearance. X marks the spot. Glasses on. We need to clean this. Yeah. Just 
attack a few. Like that, as always, my hand is covering, covering it. Very professional. Da -da -da. Press L to skip ahead. <laughs> Well, that's done now. I'll just um, make sure the solder's flowing through. Probably don't need the desolder on. Okay. So that's the first row done. Okay, nice and straight. Now I've already programmed this ROM. I should probably straighten the legs first, shouldn't I? So this has got the, um, the PAL Vic 20 kernel and uh, Jiffy DOS for PAL as well. Stick this in. Do -do -do. Again, once I've got it in, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, we got her in. So that does give me quite a bit of extra. You compare it to one, it gives me a few extra millimeters. So I'll solder this in now. So I'll solder both sides of the, of the EEPROM. Get some more solder. I really need to clean my desk, don't I? Jumble desk, jumble mine. Do -do -do. Oh, I should have something holding this down. Mm -hmm. My hand is in the wrong way. Place again. Okay. I think that must be ground. That pin's always a bit harder to solder, so I think that must be connected to ground. And not to breathe in the, the smoke. Let's really get a, a fan, shouldn't I? Okay, that's one side done. finish off these legs. I'll skip ahead actually so because uh, I know my hand is going to keep blocking the view. So that's done. Getting there. Now just the other other legs. Make sure I get them on the right way around. And again I'll just stick them in this socket quickly so I get the um, so they're nice and sort of perpendicular to each other. Like that. Um, I don't really need to chop the legs off, but I will, just to keep it the same as the other side. Make sure you're wearing eye protection. Careful not to chop the legs. Okay. I'll just finish these off, so I'll probably, once again, let me guess my hand's going to be, hand's going to be in the way, probably. Um, let me just, I'll just tack this on and I'll finish off, finish off, and there we go, all done, well, almost all done, um, because this is replacing an 8K ROM, 2364, and I'm replacing it with a 16K ROM, 27128, with 
two different kernels on there. I need to make it switchable. Um, so I just need to, because I don't have any headers handy, do I? Just a moment. So I've chopped off the headers. So basically, we've got ground up the top, and then we've got A13, A14, A15. So all I really need is A13 and ground. So just get that on there or solder one. Again, my hands are in the way. Let's get one solder on. Okay. Straighten that up. Too far the other way. There we go. Straight enough. Okay, so I'll solder the rest on. Okay, just for mechanical strength. Can't see it's just um, come through the other side. <coughs> so once again, ground needs a bit extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All good. So that's it. I've already got the switch in my. Vex, so I'll come and get that one over, take that one out, take the original one out, and hopefully this one should now fit. Um, yeah, I'll take the take the camera off the tripod. Better. Wow, you can actually see now. So that's all ready to go. You see how the solders come through on the top as well, just for a bit more mechanical strength and this actually just fits um, the rectifier heatsink just fits above the rectifier heatsink so let me get it all set up in the Vic and I'll show you okay new ones in let's see there <laughs> much better that fits perfect so I've almost finished this one actually. This was um, this is actually a VC20 motherboard that I got from uh, Commodore Mark on eBay in the UK. Just about this one actually had a problem. The um, it took about 30 seconds to a minute to start up. Discovered it was this uh, one microfarad capacity here uh, because that's connected to the timer and the timer output is connected to the reset pin on the 6502 and the veers and everything so and this is um, this is like the timing capacitor so it should be one microfarad I pulled it out me measured as two microfarad so I swapped it out and straight away you know three four seconds to, to boot instead of 30 seconds to a minute um, and everything else is working good I've, I've swapped out all the ceramic disc capacitors um, just a couple left because I don't have these ones at the moment, so I'm, I'm waiting on those. I replaced the LM323, I've bypassed the rectifier when I'm using DC only. Um, heat sinks on the ROMs because the ROMs get so hot. Um, so I'm just about finished this one and it's got the nice pit style keys, blue LED, new decals. So um, this is definitely one of the ones I'm going to be keeping. Anyway, let me uh, put it all back together and make sure it works. Okay, so we've got Jeffy Doss. And let me just, um, you see, look at this. Under an amp. Under an amp. Very happy. So, oops, lights in the way. Professional studio setup. So let me just power that off. Change over. 
and we're back on the normal uh, Victorian canal. So almost all done. Very nice.